All right, guys, let's talk a little bit today about the back, the lower back, the back, and specifically about deadlifting, why it's so important, and why it's not necessarily to be something to be concerned about if you are having some sort of lower back discomfort um, or achiness, all right? We have a lot of newer clients over the last couple of months, so it's important that we talk about this so that you understand why some of those things are normal and why it's nothing to be concerned about and the fact that it's going to help you, okay? So deadlifting, working on strengthening the back side of our body, okay? Super duper important because those are what keep us upright. We do a lot of, we spend a lot of time sitting or you know even just driving from place to place, all that sort of stuff. So the stuff that helps us stay up tall to offset what's going on in the front side of our body is super duper important and why we have to make sure that we are you know, working our way up in weights or like how much we're lifting because we have to offset all that stuff. So if you think about if you're sitting for you know, six, seven hours a day, whether it be at work, whether it be going from place to place, you have to offset seven hours worth of the front half of your body being contracted by working the back half. And picking up a super light weight for months at a time is not gonna do that and you're just gonna continue to run into back issues down the road. You're actually less likely to run into back issues as you go if you deadlift and strengthen the back of your body than you are if you don't do those things. Okay, so let's go through a few reasons as to why you might be feeling a little bit more sore, especially for those of you that are, fair, that are a little bit newer and haven't been working with us or deadlifting with us for a while. Because um, a lot of you that have been here for a little bit have heard these kind of things before and you understand why it's important and why it's not something to necessarily worry about. So let's talk a little bit about it anatomy wise. So I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but I've got a uh, uh, anatomy model here that's gonna help me out a little bit. So it may be kind of hard to see because this side of the body has been kind of cut away so you can see underneath. But if you look, there's this big piece of white tissue here. So if this side was filled in the exact same, that big piece of white tissue takes up pretty much this entire space here. All of these muscles feed into this huge piece of connective tissue back here. Or at least run close enough that tightness in those muscles can affect that huge piece of connective tissue. So what can happen is let's say that our glutes are tight from having done deadlifting the day before, or hamstrings or whatever. That tightness in those muscles pulls on that connective tissue, which then pulls on other pieces of connective tissue, which can give you that tight feeling that you feel. Also, if it's something that you've done, you know, just started doing, sometimes these erector muscles, the ones that run along your spine, do a little bit more than they normally would have to because they're trying to stabilize your spine, but they're working extra hard. All right, the way that you kind of want to think about it is, okay, if you did squats, if you have somebody that's been with us for a while, the first week or two, you probably felt like your quads were gonna fall off your body, the front of your legs, after we had done, you know, we had done squats a couple days before. Um, but over successive weeks, it wasn't so bad, right? Maybe the first week, your quads were sore for like four days after that first training. And then the next week, they were only sore for a day or two, and now, you know, they're a little sore maybe the next day, but it's more than tolerable unless you, you know, go at a higher weight or to go over the top or something along those lines. Deadlifting works the same way. So for those of you that are just deadlifting for the first time or deadlifting at a higher weight for the first time, you're gonna be sore, you're gonna be a little bit tighter. That's not something to worry about. All that means is that you have exceeded your current, your body's current capacity for lifting, which means that you're working on getting stronger. What tends to happen is the first time you do that, you may have that soreness, that tightness for, you know, maybe four days, five days. And I'm not saying like debilitating, I'm just saying like you notice some tightness and you notice it's a little bit achy. And then the next time, we're looking forward to baby B only two days. And then after that, it starts being something that continuously resets because you've continued to build that strength. The back is no different, or the muscles of the back are no different than the muscles of the front of the leg. We just get so concerned about the back that we tend to see anything there as troublesome. But in fact, it's showing that we're progressing. All right, so what you want to be doing is deadlifting with good form and continually trying to work your way up slowly. 
all right? Slowly being the key word. That's what we're here for. We're making sure that you guys are picking up things the right way. This is coming from someone, and I know that it's easy to think, okay, you're 30 years old, you work in a gym as a career, like not all of us, Mr. Deadlift guy, are gonna be out deadlifting for super heavy weight. That's not my goal. Okay, that's fine. Just keep in mind, for those of you that don't know, I have had a history of back issues for, uh, it's a lot better now, but multiple herniated discs, things that I've hurt over time, and I will tell you without hesitation that deadlifting is one of the main things that helped rehab me and why my back is so much better now than it ever was before. So if you're somebody that struggles with back problems from day to day, if you came in with back pain or some sort of issue related to your back or something that you want, deadlifting, the, probably the most important exercise, the most important, especially for those of you that are worried about back pain. But it is not, just like any other sort of exercise, it is not 100% pain free. All right, there's this, this feeling that if you do something right, it means you never feel it. You just get stronger, but there's never any sort of discomfort. That's not the case. Just in the same way that in order to make your quads stronger, they have to feel a little bit sore every now and then, it's the same thing with the back side of your body. So really, really try not to worry so much if you feel, if you wake up the next day feeling sore, feeling a little bit achy, and I'm not talking about like you can't, you know, it hurts every time you walk, you feel a shooting sensation or anything along those lines. Even, even those are not always cause for concern right away. But if you're feeling achy, if you're feeling sore, that's normal. And this, what I was talking about, the connective tissue and all that sort of stuff, that's why it's so important that, and you may not have understood that when I say, you know, oh, when I hear somebody say their back hurts, okay, grab a foam roller, roll your glutes, roll your quads, all that sort of stuff in here. And that's why, if these muscles get super tight, then it can affect the back. It pulls everything into different directions, which causes that tightness, that soreness in the back. Why it's super important that we, we roll that stuff out and we move. Okay? One of the biggest fallacies we're fed is that if our back hurts, stop. Don't do anything. That is maybe the worst thing you can do for it. Okay? I'm not saying you come in the next day and you deadlift twice as much as you ever have and you just like throw caution to the wind. But if you just kind of sit and wait for it to get better, it's not going to. Or it's going to take a lot longer. Do some rolling. Do some stretching. Go for a walk. Okay? Walking especially. Super beneficial if you've got back tightness, back soreness. Even for those of you that have maybe had some back pain, some like traumatic type stuff, walking is fantastic for that. It's gonna suck for the first few minutes until everything starts to loosen up. And then it's going to get better and better as you continue to just move, all right? So guys, feel free to respond to this video with any questions you have. I'd be happy to answer them. But really try not to worry. That tightness, that soreness that you're feeling the day after deadlifting is totally normal. It's completely normal. And the goal is that, you know, as you do it over time, as you continue to challenge yourself, like I said, those days get less and less and you're not feeling it as much the next day. But at the beginning, just like when you started your first set of classes, you probably noticed you were sore as heck the next couple days. Could be all over, could be one specific point. It's the exact same with our back, with the, the back side of our body. I don't even wanna say back because it makes it sound like I'm just targeting like my back, the back side of your body. That's just where it tends to present itself is right in that lower back region. So guys, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to respond. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, and that's all I got for today.